What's going on, Island Hoppers? Today we are coming to you from Montana's greatest city, Missoula. Let's do it. In this Missoula travel guide, we're going to take you guys around the downtown area, show you guys along the riverfront, tell you about some of the hikes and outdoor activities in the area that you guys can check out when you come up here. Now, if you do love traveling around Montana, you will want to check out some of our other travel guides from Whitefish, Glacier National Park, and some other information related to Montana. And we even go around the USA. So if this is your first time to Island Opera TV, you can consider subscribing and turning on the bell. Missoula is a college town. It's actually home to the University of Montana. The population is 116,000 people in the metropolitan area, but the town of Missoula itself is 78,000 people, making it the second largest city in all of Montana behind just Billings. Here we are at the intersection of the heart of Missoula. This here is Higgins Street and Broadway. Uh, this area right here, if you look right down here, you'll see some bars, restaurants. If you go this way, you have more of that going down Broadway in all directions. So Higgins and Broadway right here. All right, so here we are at the Missoula Club, Burgers and Beer. We're gonna go in here and get a beer, sit down, talk to the bartender, learn some more about Missoula, give you guys some history, and uh, let's do that now. So I got a summer ale right here. That's a local beer. So I got an old-fashioned burger right here with bacon. As you would imagine, that beer and burger was just what I needed at that particular moment. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head down the road here towards the actual river, which is cool because they have a area where you can surf or even kayak in the rapids. Uh, it's a popular place with locals. You've probably seen it on Instagram before, but that's where we're headed now. So uh, we will just show you that stroll from the downtown area towards the river. Here we are on the Clark Fork River right here. Behind me you have the wave. This area right here is where people come to surf. That's why if you look down there, you'll see people surfing the wave. It's actually a rapid. They're also in their kayaks.
Here's a map of Missoula right here. You can see we are right here. Okay, up here is gonna be the M, which is a hiking trail. You can go right up there. And then you have Ron's River Trail. You have the Clark River, obviously, and you have some islands in between here, West Broadway Island. So you can see there's lots of uh, future opportunity for a town like Missoula. So there's lots of trails up and down this Clark Fork River for Missoula right here. Uh, right now we're just walking along one of the many, but this riverfront right here is developing. You can see people coming down here all the time because of the wave. So this attraction here uh, actually is creating quite the vibrant uh, activity zone for people out here. In fact, not too far that way is Idaho. So Missoula is right there close to the Idaho border. You guys look right behind me over here the m on the mountain that's called the hike to the m one of the reasons you would want to hike up to the m it's about an hour and 20 minute long hike there and back is because you get the sunset you guys look right there you can see the sun right now it's setting Missoula actually sits in the confluence of five different valleys believe it or not people were settling this area 3500 BCE, they have found artifacts dating that far back. You have the Kodanai people, the Blackfoot, and several other tribes who were actually here. Now, what we're gonna talk about next is the European settlers who came through during uh, Lewis and Clark. In 1805, Lewis and Clark came through here and they stayed at Traveler's Rest, right here near Missoula. Now after that, they had set up another outpost right nearby Missoula. Uh, his name was Hamilton and that area was called Hellgate before it was actually called Fort Missoula. Now there's a couple bars out here. You can call them dive bars if you want. Right here we got Reds. We obviously showed you Missoula Club earlier in the video and there's Stockman's, but there's more bars than that. It's just that's what the locals said were the dive bar hangouts. Here's some more information about Fort Missoula. It was actually established right here in Missoula to protect the settlers from any sort of hostile uh, invasions. Uh, the settlers were coming here, they wanted to settle their stagecoaches, and they wanted to have a safe place. That's why they set up the Hellgate Trading Post, but followed by the uh, Fort Missoula. You can see right behind me, you have the clock tower and a statue. But here's the clock tower right here. This is actually the Missoula County Courthouse. In and around Missoula, there's over 400 acres of parkland and 22 miles of trails. There's also a grip load of conservation land. In the early 1990s, Missoula went from a lumber uh, major outpost for lumber production to all of a sudden that whole industry really drying up. And then the university and some hospitals became the number one industry. So right now, Missoula is still in transition entering into a post-industrial era. Now on this side, you have Mount Jumbo, right? You see a peace sign and then you see a big L out there. That L represents Loyola Catholic High School, which is the Sacred Heart. So that's what that L represents. And the peace sign, I guess it means peace. But you could probably hike up to any one of those mountains. That's Mount Jumbo. If 
you look right behind me, you could see a motel right here in downtown, but they've actually decided to build most of the motel hotel area about 3.5 miles away from the downtown area. What does that tell you about Missoula? It is sprawling. So there is an urban sprawl that is now taking place. If you check right over here, you can see a transportation center, okay? This transportation center, you could tell, is set up for growth, probably a light rail at some point in time. Missoula is absolutely booming right now. It's just in the infancy of its urban sprawl and development that's coming. People from California moving here, people from back east and other states moving here for miscellaneous reasons for the peace and quiet, tranquil environment that you have right here. All right, as Montana continues to grow, the subject of friendly people keeps coming up. Certain towns around Montana are known to be more friendly than others, and some towns around Montana are known to be a little bit snobbish. And some people would associate that with where those people are coming from. Not to name any states, you guys can drop a comment below if you wanna guess those states where those people are coming from, where they're bringing this snotty, snobby attitude to Montana. But the locals, man, these guys are, down to earth, okay? Their real Montana attitude is very friendly, okay? Uh, they're letting you guys move in here, they're letting us visit, and they're friendly. They hook you up with really good breakfast, but the people who are bringing the attitude are coming from elsewhere, and they're saying, don't be an a-hole when you come out here. So, people from Montana, really friendly, like almost too friendly for you who got, you know, sticks up your butt. <laughs> but in all honesty, uh, don't be an a-hole when you come here and when you do talk to locals expect very friendly uh, lots of information provided to you that's who the real montana people are if you look right behind me you can see thomas meager's irish bar so they do got an irish bar who doesn't love an irish bar Hey, and they got sushi, fresh seafood right here in the Rockies in Montana. Sushi Hana. You'll notice several of these bars here have slot machines in there. Casino slot machines in the bars in Montana, not too uncommon. Right here at the Oxford. I would imagine that's a British pub. From Pine Street and Higgins, you can see you've got the Missoula Art Museum headed that away. You've got the post office, City Hall over here, and you've got the riverfront and the uh, trails along the river headed that away. Montana real estate is really booming, and I think the reason is is because you get these homes on rivers, on lakes. It really is like America, Switzerland. 30 years from now, if the engineers and the city planners and the urban planners, town councils plan it right, they could really create a beautiful environment with humans living inside a forest, inside of Montana and the lakes and the rivers. If you want some really good pizza, you're going to want to come over here and check out High Hole. Right here next to the Northern Pacific Railway, you have an old Atlantic Hotel. You can see the writing, you can hear the noise from the railway. It's kind of a loud place right here in downtown Missoula. But what I wanted to say was Missoula reminds me of a young Boise. You know, Boise's taken off big time here in the last 20 years. 
Missoula is getting ready to do the exact same thing. You can tell it really reminds me of a young Boise. And I said when I made the uh, Boise travel guide that Boise reminded me of a cross between Nashville and Denver because of the music scene and actually the environment was a lot like Denver. So that gives you an idea of what's coming out here in Missoula. It's definitely going to be, uh, unfortunately, it's going to grow massively. Uh, I say unfortunately because there's some people who are not gonna be too happy with that explosion and growth, but it, the writing is on the wall. It's gonna happen here in Missoula. With that being said, being that we know that there's going to be a growth in population, even if it means doubling in size in the next 10 years or tripling or even going to a million in the next 30 years, the city planners have an opportunity to really create a smart city, an intelligently designed modern city that incorporates the natural environment with the people. So it really ends up being a beacon of an example of what American cities can be because this city is going to be growing. The International Wildlife Film Festival takes place here in Missoula at the Roxy Film Festival. Yes, they're using a giraffe, which does not exist here. They could use a grizzly, they could use a moose, they could use an elk or a white-tailed deer because that's what you see the most of when you're out here.